goal setting systems and actually tracking and measuring and monitoring our daily incremental progress towards those goals. Um, and just maybe an example I could share with something that I've built that allows me to stay focused on my goals and tracking the right things every day and kind of how to do that, right? Similar to what we're talking about with the compound effect, Atomic Habits, another great book. So if you guys are open, I'd love to talk about that and, and share some examples. Let's roll. Cool. So with kind of what we talked about, I mean, obviously setting the goal, it, like Ben was talking about earlier, we if, unless we make the decision, right, we got to cut off all other options. And so maybe Brandon, to start this off, why don't you talk to us about some of the important things agents should be tracking on a day-to-day -day business for their, you know, their success in, in accomplishing their goals. Like, what do you think are some of the most important things that they should be tracking? Yeah. Number one is time spent prospecting. Number two is outbound dials. Number three is contacts made. Number four is leads generated. Number five would be appointments set. Number six would be appointments met. And number seven, listings taken. I mean, it's that straightforward. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. And I can go on about that real quick. I just, the goal setting process has got to change. It has to be mm -hmm. based on things that we are in control of that take care of the result. And if you don't do that, the result will never happen for you. Go ahead. I digress. What are your thoughts, Ben? I think you nailed it. That was something I had for, for, for our, our previous topic, but it's, Okay, let's if you do want to make $500,000, that's fine. But let's map it out. Let's build yep. a business plan, which Brandon, that's the first thing we do in coaching with you is build a business plan. So now, okay, let's look at it. Okay, it it shows us that you need to spend 4 hours a day. You need to make 40 contacts a day, right? 50 contacts, 60 contacts, whatever the goal is. Maybe it's 10. Now let's make a decision. Is this actually what you want that's right yeah it, it's it, it's not a matter of what you want it's a matter of what you're willing to do yep. so yeah. if if you 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 can't say my goal is to make five hundred thousand and have five contacts a day that would be mm -hmm. an example of cognitive dissonance yep. that what you do is so out of alignment with what you say you want you are leading yourself to misery that is how agents end up quitting the business it, because their goals and their actions are so far outside of alignment because they haven't answered the question. Forget about what you want for a second. 500,000, 200,000, 100,000, fine. Give it context. What does that mean in terms of what you must do yeah. on a day on a day, -to day basis? And that be the goal. The yep. goal is to have 27 conversations today. That is how we decide and answer, did you have a good day today or bad day? Right? We talked about that. Well, how do you know if your goal, did you make $500,000 today? No, it doesn't happen that quickly. So we have to have something that the brain can latch onto that is evidence that it is in fact making progress towards the goal. And that is actions. Yep. You guys with me and on that? And beyond that, like we talked about, so that's that's one side of the equation for your business, tracking the metrics and the day-to-day -day actions for your business. But like we talked about earlier, a lot of people even know they need to do that, but they're still not doing it. So I'd like to talk about what to track on the personal side of things on a day-to-day -day basis that allows you to turn into and, and have evidence for yourself that you are the type of person that can do the second thing, right? So Brandon, if, if I could, just to share an example, um, I'd like to share my screen here. I might need yeah. your help with that. Let's see how, <laughs> how we do. Let's see. Oh, that did not work well. No. We, we got that audio. There. It was like a rabbit. It was like a robot just came on, took over your audio. All right, well, maybe I won't be sharing anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. So tell us what you were going to show us, though. Well, just essentially a, 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 an example of what this could look like and some of the things you can track on a day-to-day -day basis. So I guess I'll just kind of go through my, my list. Um, and this can be something in as simple as a spreadsheet, right? The system I kind of track a lot of my stuff on is something like Airtable. 
Um, and so you can kind of then start to gather that data, see averages, visualize it with charts, right? And, and the other kind of side note I'd like to make about this is because every company in the world, uh, social media wise, right? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, they know more about you and your unconscious habits than you do. Yeah. yeah, They really do. And so what I'm about to take you through at first glance, especially for me, when I first started doing this, it's like, man, this kind of seems like a lot. Like, I don't know if I should do this on a day-to-day -day basis. But then I thought to myself, well, if all these other companies value my attention and my data so much, why shouldn't I? Great right? Point. Why can't I spend the five or 10 minutes a day to track what's important in my life when these billion dollar companies are using it to make money off of me and you? And so just then as, a, as an example, and, and this is something Rob Deerdeck talked about. I, I love Rob Deerdeck. Growing up watching him as a kid and, and now seeing some of the things he does, a lot of the things he talks about in his interviews and some of the things he tracks, um, are obviously his time. So mm -hmm. he, he's pretty intense with it. He breaks it into a few different categories. So how much time he spends with work, with relationship, with family, and with health and fitness. And then he he tracks to the minute every single day those things. And then his ratings. So on a scale of one to 10, how do I feel about my life? How do I feel about my work? How, right? And so similar to that, I start to track every morning. How do I feel that morning? Like what's my energy level that morning? And then in the afternoon and then in the evening. So I can kind of gauge throughout my day. And then from there, what if you're tracking like the things you're working on, the people you're meeting with, you can then start to see how that's affecting your energy and your focus throughout the day. So that's that's one thing. Um, another thing, like I mentioned, relationship, your mindset, um, getting pretty granular with it. What time did you go to bed? That, I was going to say the same thing. Up? Yeah. yeah. What time let me just let me pop in right now. If if there's somebody listening to the episode and you don't have an aura ring and you're not tracking your daily sleep, I think that's a huge miss. Yeah. Number mm -hmm. one on the chart for human performance is sleep optimization. Period. End of story. I digress. Keep yeah. rolling. No, that's that's spot on. And then you know you could start to see, man. You know what? Because the next part is kind of like tracking what you're eating. You know, how many calories you, you, you ate today? What were your meals? So I log my meals. I, 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 you know, I log my meals, right? How much water did you drink today? How many steps did you get today? And so dude. that's what, that's one side of it. The health and fitness. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, dude, we're on, we're, we're totally on the same page. Like that's what I was getting ready to people to show is like my little, my step tracker, you know, and yep. that I call it the vital few analysis. That if you were looking to get X result or X outcome, what are, this is a process of subtraction, not addition. Mm -hmm. So what are the vital few things that if you do them will absolutely lead to the result you're after? Using weight loss is the easiest thing or, or muscle gain. And I haven't, yeah. I mean, this is just human performance, but there's five vital few, right? For me, it's sleep. It's, it's tracking the sleep, right? Eight hours of sleep, 10,000 steps a day. It's 2,000 calories per day, tracked. 200 grams of protein, tracked. And then four uh, workouts per week. Everything else is, is a distraction. And we live in a world of ma uh, weapons of mass distraction. That's mm -hmm. where we live. And so it's a process of everything you're doing outside of the vital few, just delete them. Get rid yeah. of them. Yep. Yeah. You can break, pull it down to these things that you can grip onto and you're in control of. So Go ahead, ben. I'm like you guys obsessed with tracking and it's what we're talking about, why you're tracking your food, your sleep, all these things. It's because what we track is what's important to us, right? Yeah. What we keep an eye on is what's important, right? You, you've heard the look at somebody's calendar and that'll tell, tell you what, what's really important to them. Right. Yeah. So if you have money problems, start tracking it. If oh, you look dude. at it every yeah. day, yeah. I guarantee you'll 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 solve it. Right. But if we ignore yeah. it and we just expect a different result, then we can't fix it. So what tracking did for me and Brandon, you're the one that got me into tracking. And when I first started coaching with you, and it's something that's just spiraled probably out of control. But um, that's your analytical <laughs> personality. 
Yeah, that you, but, but that you refuse does, to come clean about. You can come clean on the show if you want. <laughs> well, that'll be our, our confession podcast next week. Um, okay. What it does for me, though, is it we often your identity, your beliefs, whatever, like <clears throat> character trait, we're often just distracted by the emotion. I don't feel good today. Like, and you want to look at all these excuses and then you go back to the data and it's like, well, Brandon, you don't feel good. You're out of a whack. It's, it's the only reason is because you didn't walk. This is what you need to do to feel yeah. good. And you, dude, you're at 2000 steps for the last three days. Right. So it's That's just right. black and white. What gets measured gets improved, period. You want to yeah. improve any area of your life to Ben's point. Just track it. It is a statistical probability that if you just pay attention to it, you will make better decisions. Period. End of story. You want to spend less money? Every dollar you spend, write it down. Guarantee you spend less. You want to eat less? Do the same yeah, thing. Yeah. You want to make more calls? Track it. So on and so forth. And the opposite. If there's a habit you're trying to break, you know, like if you want to stop eating this thing, if you want to stop this bad vice you have, if you want to stop whatever, track that. Every time you do it, man, you don't want to you don't want to hit that button. Or the opposite, like, man, I I'm glad I you know it's been a week straight. I haven't done this this vice or whatever it is. And so track the negatives too and stay on top of those. Yeah, no, that's great. The other beauty is is change blindness, right? So when we're in it it's hard to see the improvement that we're actually going through. Yep. But if you can take a step back and actually look at the numbers and be like, holy cow, like, yeah, I'm looking in the mirror. I don't feel like I lost weight, but yeah, here are the numbers. Like, just look at my my heart rate. Look at this, look at that. Like, I'm in a way better spot, especially prospecting. It's like, look at what the pipeline I'm building, right? I'm on day 10. I'm only at, you know, $5,200 compounding. But then you're going to experience that down the road. But in the moment, like it's so hard. Weight loss is a great example, right? Yeah, that's you know, when we have when we have an agent track their stuff and they can year, look at their year to date uh, tracker. It's I don't know if there's anything more powerful than that to say, look how far you've come. Mm -hmm. Every time you get on a phone call and someone says no, this is how much money you make. Yeah, and they start to say, wow, yeah, they can start to put their emotions aside and say, I have come a long way, which gives them the, the, the motivation to keep going.